Welcome to the 30 by 45 three piece Premier 2 high peak pull tent installation video by Salina. Prior to installation, call the local utility locating service and have all utilities located and marked. This chart shows industry standard colors for marking utilities. A tent installer should never use these colors for marking. Always use white paint for tent squaring and layout. Arrange the tent to avoid all utilities at the installation site. A tent squaring procedure should be performed at the site where the tent is to be installed. Tent squaring saves time during installation and ensures that the tent is tensioned properly. Using white marking paint, mark all stakes, side poles, corner poles, and center pole locations per the layout handbook illustration. Step 1. Lay out all necessary hardware around the tent perimeter. Each lace line requires two box ratchets, two two-hole stake plates, and four double-head tent stakes. One box ratchet and one double-head tent stake are required at the remaining grommet locations. Each corner location requires two two-hole stake plates, three box ratchets, and five double-head tent stakes. Two stake plates and two box ratchets will be set 90 degrees apart and one box ratchet at 45 degrees. The ratchet must be facing in towards the tent. Place the stake plate on top of the box ratchet aligning the stake holes. Drive the stakes vertically all the way down until the bottom head is flush with the stake plate. Continue this process until all box ratchets and stake plates are secured. Vertical is defined as straight up and down or an angle away from the tent up to 10 degrees. Step 2. Unfold the drop cloth to cover the desired location of the tent. Always use a drop cloth. Be sure all areas are covered to prevent damage and or dirt from touching the tent top. Step 3. There are three sections required to install a 30 by 45 Premier 2 pole tent. Place all sections on the drop cloth. Unroll and unfold all sections in their appropriate locations. Do not stand or walk on tent top fabric. If a section must be moved or relocated, do not drag it. The section must be picked up and carried to the desired location. Step 4. Lace all tent sections together. Start by lining up the two large center steel rings and plates that are attached to the tent top located on the center edge of the tent sections. With the floor flange and nipple, insert the nipple through the steel ring and plate on one tent section. And the steel ring and plate on the other tent section to create one solid center pull pin location. Secure the end of the nipple with the floor flange. From the center of the tent, work into the outside perimeter, pull the first lace up through the first small grommet. Pull the next lace through the grommet in previous lace loop. While lacing a Premier 2 tent top, be sure to also connect the rain flap with the Velcro covering the lace line. This eliminates the need to crawl on the tent after it is laced. The rain flap prevents water from penetrating the lace line. Continue lacing the sections together until you reach the double length lace. Double length laces are located approximately 2 foot above the tent balance. Insert the two last laces through the grommets. Starting from the lace closest to the valance, loop upwards back to the longest lace. 
Tie a knot at the longest lace location to secure the entire lace line. Repeat the above method to secure the remaining tent section. Step 5. Attach the tie back straps to the plates on the tent top and box ratchets. At the end of each lace line there are two plates and one plate at each remaining grommet locations. Each plate has two holes. At the lace lines, make sure the two side pull holes are lined up together. Hook the tie back to the plates at each lace line and grommet locations. Feed the webbing straps attached to the tent top through each box ratchet. Turn the ratchet several times and secure the webbing loosely. Step 6. The tent side poles and corner poles are now ready to be set. Starting at a corner location, insert the pull pin through the metal plate and brass grommet. Be sure the pull pin goes through both holes. If done improperly, you can puncture the tent top fabric and create holes. Set the corner pole to its upright position. Tighten the webbing straps to keep you erect. The remaining side and corner poles can now be erected. Work around the tent, do not over tension the webbing straps. Secure poles with jump rope. Step 7. Assemble the center poles. Each center pole will be constructed of three sections. Step 8. Insert the first center pole pin through the nipple and the powder coated stainless steel plates, coupling the center pole plates and rings together. Be sure not to pinch or puncture the tent top fabric. Lift the pole into an angled position. Insert a tent stake into the helper hole if available. Insert the second center pole through the second nipple and stainless steel plate. Lift the pole into an angled position. Step 9. When the tent fabric is elevated and no longer touching the ground, the drop gloss can be removed. Step 10. Align the bottom of the center poles in a straight line using a masonry string or the measuring tape used to lay out the tent. Step 11. Raise the center poles into their vertical positions. Place each pole on an anti-sink pole plate. Step 12. Tighten all corner box ratchets until they are vertically straight. Align the bottom of each side pole in a straight line using a masonry string. Use a Keter tubing and an anti-sink pole plate at all pole locations. Applying even amounts of tension, tighten the secondary side pole box ratchets until all side poles are vertical and the tent top is tensioned. Step 13. Finish the tent by rolling excess ratchet straps into ratchet buckle. The tent installation is now complete. Salina Tent is an industrial fabric products manufacturer of tents, shelters, canopies, and related accessories. All tents can be custom printed with your corporate logo, brand, or marketing information. For more information or to order online, please visit our website at gettent.com.